and we're back to exploring AI. This time I'm going to show you how you can add text messages with AI to photos. I've seen this this week on X. Someone had the word obey in his photos and it was built by the people or the clothing that they wore. We can easily recreate that. You need a photo editing software, for example GIMP, which is free. Use the type tool to type in your text on a white background. I'll make this obey. Press Ctrl A, size it up, give it a different font. I'll use Arial Heavy, let me use 250. The position plays a role here. So if you put it in center, the text is going to be recreated there. I want to have it a little bit lower, so I drag it slightly downwards, holding Ctrl to here. You want to keep the white background, so don't make it a PNG with a transparent background. Let's go to file and export it to a place where you can find it. Let me put it on my desktop and I simply call it tutorial. It's a PNG, but I don't have a transparent background. So that's the important part here. Then we'll go to illusion diffusion. It's free. I'm going to link to it and you can drop images right here. Just left click. I have my obey tutorial right here. Just double click and it's now here in this field. You can adjust the illusion strength and have this typical text to image prompt field. Let me just make it a field of flowers, a strength of 0.8. And then it's going to take some time. As I said, it's free, so there might be a queue, but why complain about a free application? And here's our result. You can see that this text has now been placed inside of a field of flowers. Depending on the illusion strength, it will be more intense or less intense. So play around with it and it depends on the prompt that you use. So for field of flowers, 0.8 was all right and even 0.6 would work to some degree. But if you, for example, use group of people on a street, so that's the image that I've seen on X using this effect, 0.7 might be too low. You can see that right here. And here we can obviously see it, but this would be unusable because it's too intense. But you get the idea. Play around with this slider depending on the prompt that you use. And you want to have something like GIMP or Photoshop to have your text message created. Make it black and white. An additional tip, use a square background. So I've used 1000 times 1000. If you have 16 by 9 and your text too big, it might get cut off on the sides. So it's a good idea to start with a square, upload this, and then you can recreate these text messages in images using AI. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.